so enjoy. I was, I was paying attention to the cover, bro. I said when Bryson introduced himself, it was a red cover, and he was looking to the right. I say he's celebrating yeah. the anniversary. It's a blue cover, and he's looking to the left. Yeah. And it has, <laughs> and that music got that feel, man. I was like, this is it. I mean, it's, it feels like you're picking up where you left off with with Trap Soul, bro. I appreciate that, man. I was, uh, that's, that's, that's big for you to say, man. I, I was just looking at this project like, dang, if I had a fucking time machine, if I could go back in time, you know, and get a second chance, you know, what would I, what would I do differently? You know, um, and, um, you know, a couple of those things show up on, um, one of them being Drake, you know, two, five, you know, there's, there's like a bunch, there's a couple beats on there that are five years old that I stopped believing in because somebody else might not have believed in them back then. And, I was like, nah, these beats are dope. They stood the test of time, you know what I mean? Five years later, they still hitting. So I was like, hey, let me put them on this album. You know, just timeless beats, timeless production. You know, and uh, my fans look to me that, uh, you know, you know, Trap Soul stood the test of time as well. And that's uh, the main reason I'm paying homage to this. To this yeah, album. sir, that's that sound. So one of my personal favorites, I'm going to ask you one of yours. I got to share mine first because you might say it. Timeless. I know it's not a song. It's an interlude. But that timeless, that's the one that hit my soul today. Yo. Yeah, I've been hearing that a lot lately, bro. It's crazy. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you rock with that, man. Appreciate that. What's, what's, I was actually, I almost didn't put it on the project because it was like, you know, I know a lot of fans like to hear me croon, crooning over over R and B beats, and singing, you know, something that they can get that girl back to. But I was, I need my my moment where I can, you know, speak on what I want to speak on. And, you know what I mean? So I'm glad, I'm glad I kept it on there. So to hear you say that is, uh, is, uh, is dope. For sure. What's one of your personal favorites off of anniversary? Personal favorites? I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh. I don't know. It's hard. They all my kids, man. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard for me to pick. All right. So, what was the first song you heard to make you fall in love with music? The first song I ever heard that made me fall in love with music. Period. Yes, sir. Man, that started. I mean, I feel like that all starts with all of us. It starts with kids. Um, but I will tell you the first artist who made me really, really fall in love with music is Chris Brown. I said, I'll, I'll cite him as, um, uh, as that. Yeah. He made me fall in love with music. Just all the, the stuff that he was doing back in the day, man. It's all those albums and just a superstar, man. You know what I mean? And it really inspired me to want to make music and try new things, try new sounds and try harmonies. The dream is another person who very, I, I have to name. I feel like I got to name three people, man. You know what I mean. But the dream is another person who is, uh, man, just so amazing at what he does. And I've studied, literally studied his music. Um, and and Drake, of course, Drake is a, a huge influence in, in in my music, and he's a big part of my musical DNA. Um, what he's done for R and B, he's done so much for hip hop, but what he's done for R and B is just, just incredible. You know, so I, I appreciate all three of those artists you know, for um, for existing and, and, and making those contributions, contributions to music because they're the reason why I'm here today. What keeps you motivated to continue to stay creative and put this music out? Um, my daughter, they, my daughters, they, they keep me motivated for sure. They both need me. Um, I'm trying to put them, you know, make sure that they're good for life, you know, make sure their kids look good. So that that's one of my biggest motivations. Not even just them, my family. Uh, I had the first time, I had the pleasure of uh, spending time with my family members this summer after uh, my grandma's passing. I didn't want uh, the funeral to be our last, you know, memory together, you know, seeing everybody crying and stuff. So I was just like, man, you guys got to come to Miami. Um, they came down to Miami and we um, we had a ball. It was the best time ever. And they were just so excited to be around. It was like, oh my God, look at this. They loved, you know, the house that we were staying in. It was just, it felt like a vacation for them. I wanted it to feel that way. That is right alone has been inspiring me a lot lately, you know, because, you know, I know my grandma, you know, she just always wanted her family to stay together and just stick together and all for them, always be taken care of. And I remember my grandma won the lottery one time and she just took care of everybody in the family. And, um, man, I kind of want to do the same thing. I'm trying to hit the lottery, but, you know, it, you know how that goes. Lottery is just like whatever. So uh, I know one thing, I, I, another way I can hit the lottery is if I just keep going hard with this music. You know, what I mean, putting out as much as I possibly can, publishing all my um, my books is what I is how my boy Rich likes to put it, um, and putting them out there for the world to uh, digest and enjoy. You know what I mean? And over time, 
I'll be able to take care of my family the same way my grandma did. Sorry, that was a long answer. <laughs> no, that was great. My condolences. My condolences. I appreciate it. It, it, I, I'm sure to the family, it feels like you hit the lottery since you left Papa John's and now you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Um, it, They did feel like that for sure for a long time. But uh, they understand how much work goes into this. So, so uh, they're, they're patient with me and I appreciate them for that. All right, so the years have gone by and, and what has uh, you, what have you noticed as far as growth wise or that you're doing differently since the years have gone by? Um, man, I'm just more confident in myself. I got, you know, bulletproof confidence. You know, people can say whatever they want to say about me. They can say I suck. They can say I'm great. You know, um, while that opinion does matter, you know, it just doesn't really matter to me anymore. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just doing me having fun because I love music. I love to create music. Um, I just love sounds, man. Uh, you know, this time going into this album, I had to really listen to all the music that made me I'm glad you asked that question because I had to listen to all the music that made me fall in love with music. Um, you know, like some old Chris Brown songs, some old Dream songs. I was just bumping them in the studio like, yo, this is what I enjoy listening to. Now I got to make something else that people are going to enjoy listening to. You know what I mean? I can't just be in here bullshit. So, uh, yeah. That's real. What was the first album you purchased? First album I purchased was Speaker Box and The Love Below. Come on, out <laughs> Yeah. Hold on, but I might be wrong. It might have been D12. <laughs> D12 oh, album, and I really got it because of the song. These chicks dying on the name of my band. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. That's as a kid, as an elementary school kid, bro, that song used to make me. I was like, yo, this song's dope. And even never had the crazy verse. I just love how animated the song was. Stuff they're talking about the video was crazy. But uh, what, those are my two favorite first albums that I ever bought. That's hard. All right. So we're celebrating the anniversary of Trap Soul. Anniversary is out now. It's a great project. I was telling uh, Sharita and Gil on my way to work today, I popped it on and then each song just flows. How, how you put it together. And then when I knew I looked up, we was right back at years go by. I said, my boy smart. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, man. I love it. That's exactly how I intended for uh, to be uh, enjoyed and listened to. So uh, I'm glad that uh, I accomplished that. Thank you. Truly, I was looking at the Double XL freshman cover, and I seen someone representing the house, Kentucky. Uh, Jack Harlow on there representing. You guys teamed up yet? Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, we got a song together called uh, "Through the Night." You can check that out on YouTube. We have some new stuff on the on the works. I can't talk too much about it. I don't know how much he's comfortable with, but we are uh, working on some new stuff that's dope. And um, that's my boy, man. I'm proud of him. That's hard. What's one of your favorite movies, bro? Like one that you can quote front to back that you never get tired of watching. Back to the Future, one of my favorite movies. Um, not only that, uh, Iron Giant, one of my favorite movies. Those are my, Iron Giant's my number one favorite movie of all time. And I just, I just love it. Something that I put on before I go to bed. It just puts me in that warm, you know how like when you're watching Christmas movies and uh, it just makes you warm and fuzzy inside? Truly. This is a movie that I could watch all year long. Like, it's like, it's like, it, you know, Christmas movies, I can't watch Christmas movies until it's Christmas. That's just like my rule. But uh, Iron Giant is the one movie that gives me that feel, that Christmas feel, even though it has nothing to do with Christmas. It just makes me feel like a kid again when I'm watching it, so I love it. That's what's up. I'm peeping out the Trap Soul shirt, and it looks like that S is a five. Is that a special edition? Yeah, it is, man. It's the Trap Soul five-year anniversary merch, man. Got it on the back, too. Um, This shirt's kind of big and and dirty, actually. I had it on for about a a day now. What's the website? We can get that, because I need to get me one of them, bro. I've been trying to get a Trap Soul. Man, hit up the first one. Or not. Yeah, yo, hit up shop.com slash trap soul. And, um, oh, I'm sorry, shop.trapsoul.com. And then, uh, yeah, you can crop that, man. There it is. All right, Bryson Tiller, man, congratulations on anniversary. Man, when uh, outside is fully back open, we back in Atlanta now. So, man, the door is always open. We looking to celebrate, man, and have some fun with the listeners and your fans on air. Much love, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right. All right, Capricorn. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on.